Temporary help agencies hire workers to fill short-term labor needs for a variety of different companies across many industries. Minister of Labor Monty McNaughton says many agencies do this well, but others cheat their workers. Unfortunately, some are lawbreakers who exploit their workers by not paying minimum wage, not paying holiday pay, and not paying overtime pay. McNaughton says there are over 3,000 temp agencies in Ontario. Employment and labour lawyer Wade Poziemka says employers looking to break the rules might find it appealing to use an agency to get employees. Employers like to um, use temp agencies because it allows them to distance themselves from these practices. Because on paper, Dina Ladd from the Workers Action Center says the worker is technically an employee of the agency, not the business where they work day in and out. So if something goes wrong, the business walks away scot-free. It's not the place where I'm going to work that holds, gets held liable. It's the agency, right? So the, the client company keeps uh, uh, a clean record. If passed, the new legislation would require temp agencies to be vetted in order to be issued a license to operate. Applicants would need to provide an irrevocable letter of credit that could be used to repay owed wages to workers. Those who fail to get a license or choose to use an unlicensed agency will face the highest fines in the country and could face possible jail time. McNaughton says temp agency workers are generally vulnerable. Young people, women, migrant workers and newcomers. While Paziemka says the proposed rules would be a step in the right direction, it needs to happen now, not in 2024. The earliest the government says the legislation would take effect. Kelly Botello, CHCH News.